Everything that's on it is mine. Every dead cow. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody ever found diamonds around here before. I bet they came out of that weird fireball thing last night. We'll take these into cousin Billy at the rock shop. Billy. He can tell me just exactly what they're worth. But don't don't you tell cousin Billy where you found them. That'll be our secret. Alvino, honey, I love you. But don't look at me like that, Dan. You and me are going to be rich. Think of the toilet you can buy. Dan, <laughs> yeah, listen, I, I never meant any of those nasty things I used to say to you. I was, I was just teasing. Nah, I'm going to call off the invasion. This place is just not worth it. It's a welfare mom sucking us dry. Hi, Dr. Langer. Morning, Sheriff. Uh, morning. Hello, dear. May I join you? Please. Thank you. This is Dave Perkins. His father runs a local newspaper. He's Mrs. Hello, Pinchon. Hello, Dave. Nice to nice see you. Dr. Vance from NASA. NASA, huh? NASA, Houston. Where they oh. have a problem. Well, what brings you here? Anything I can publish in the paper? Uh, well, uh, that's classified. Well, I'll put it in the classified section. <laughs> Well, that's safe enough. Nobody reads your ads anyway. Have <laughs> fun, Sheriff. Uh, uh, Dave, uh, could I speak to you for a moment? Sure, Dr. Vance. But no touching. Excuse yeah. us for a moment. Now, do you recommend the chicken fried steak or the walleye cheeks? Mm. Pudding! <laughs> yeah, you can borrow my shirt. Is he always that serious? Well, he has something to be serious about this time. You know, I wonder if what happened to Terry and I last night had something to do with what you're talking about. What? What happened uh, to you and Terry? First base? Well, we were parked by the junkyard. The lights went, they went dead, the radio wouldn't work, and the engine wouldn't start. A wind came up and started, I don't know, everything just went wrong. Thoughtful or hungry, you decide. Hour three of the invasion, we took the refrigerator. <laughs> Thanks for breakfast, ma'am, I'll clean up. You know, the doctor should have been more specific when he told her to get plenty of fluids. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I need changing again. You're hitting the booze again, huh? Leave me alone. I feel terrible. Mm. This place is full of spiders. <sighs> yeah, I know. Little pink ones. No, no. Big, big, black, hairy ones with furry legs. No, that's me. Uh -huh. Lay off the booze, Evan. They'll go mm. away. You know, in her defense, laying off the booze would mean seeing him sober. It's true. Doe he has been. Hello, Sheriff's office. Oh, yes, Mrs. Cooper, how are you? Pancakes, I'll be right over. Missing? Well, where are you? Well, take a good look around, and that's where you would be. When did you see him last? 1953. You haven't seen him since last night. Well, I'd be glad to drive out and take a look for him. Uh, what color is his motorcycle? Personally, I've never been able to start seeing motorcycles. Come on, dear, please, stop worrying. I'm sure he'll turn up safe and sound. I'll be there after my pre-lunch snack. Yes, I'll get in touch with you. Right, bye. Boy, how come you only get tired when you have to stay awake to avoid being replaced by an evil pod creature, huh, Servo? <laughs> Servo! Uh, I, I am awake, Mike. I can stay awake. I just need a little shut eye. No, 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 no. Don't pass out on me now. We okay. have to stay awake to avoid being replaced by a pod creature from Gypsy's evil doppelganger. Oh, please, Mike Dippelginger. Honor the umlaut. Dippelginger. 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 Round the lips. Dippelginger. I'll round your lips. Now, Crow. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, Mike, I have uh, French roast, uh, uh, vibrant, uh, diet pills, uh, Mountain Dew, Jolt, uh, Water Joes, uh, 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 Surge, uh, chocolate covered espresso beans, M&Ms, and I'm listening to Nietzsche Rab, and, and I'm fine, Mike, really, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, it's all right, okay, just don't, uh, don't explode. I'm uh, not okay, checking Roger. on the planet here. Oh, 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 oh. hi, Nelson. Oh. Just getting the last of these ticks off. Bobo, is that you? I mean, really you? Oh. No, it's John Shuck on a bad hair day. Of course it's me, and I'm fine. But these two, <laughs> they really love their zucchinis. In fact, they're packing them up so that they can deliver zucchinis to their friends all over the galaxy. Now, 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 listen very carefully, Bobo. Those pods grow aliens who replace your body. If they're loading them into the truck, that means the whole galaxy could be in danger. Oh, come now. <laughs> Just because they load a bunch of zucchini throw pillows onto a truck doesn't mean they're trying to take over the galaxy. <laughs> Preposterous. It's a typical of you with your 
that in your broad hand blenders. I said, well, look, I'll just ask her. Oh, say, lawgiver, that, now are those evil pods and are you trying to take over the galaxy? Yes and yes. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Uh, well, I, I guess I can see how you could misconstrue that, Nelson, but I'm still not convinced. What do you mean you don't count? Look, don't, calm down. Look, just do me a favor and try taking one of those pods off the truck, okay? All right. I'll humor you. <laughs> Let me see if I can grab one of these babies here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I don't remember taking... Another one of those, excuse me. <laughs> well, now, this is odd. And she did say she wanted to take over the galaxy, and... <laughs> Nelson, I see your point. You may be onto something. The universe is in danger. But don't you worry, no siree, Bob. I'm on the job. I'll stop these two rigid creatures and foil their little plan. I'll get right on it. Well, again, we're... Uh, oh, oh, what's that horrible thumping? Yeah, it's it's my heart. I I think I'm oh, I think oh, I'm God. gonna, gonna blow. <laughs> I'm going to pre-bury myself to save time after I die. <laughs> He's a freelance pooper scooper. <laughs> Ooh, they whacked the crypt keeper. Whatever it is, it's drizzled with chocolate sauce. Honey, you up? Uh, George Hamilton finally overtans. Death of a kabuki actor. Corner need to know. Ah. Well, I'd like to say a few words. Um, this guy's dead. Uh, the end. Thank you. <laughs> well, happy Arbor Day. What was that waiter's name in Paris? Jean Luc. Hey, uh, Gary. Does this strike you as a really gross planet we're invading? <laughs> oh, what, wait. What am I doing? Jeez. Okay. You're coming down. Thanks. Do they keep their garbage in the refrigerator? An afternoon with Sandra Locke. I'm not looking, repeat, not looking at the contents of the blender. These people are really the backbone of your casino-based economy. With you. I just caught a glimpse of myself in the hallway mirror. Well, if I know that spider, it's not a virgin Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we. We still on for the Richard Feynman lecture? You look like you could use a drink. And a shower and a job. I found another body. Oh, good. Yours is getting pretty gross. Another cow? A human body. It was walking along the street and I killed it. Person. A Dutch would only give me 39 cents a pound. But it was chewed up worse than them cattle. Funny, I used to lack things like that. We have to call the Are you out of your mind? I buried that body. And I hid the motorcycle. No one will ever know. You're crazy. We can't let that sheriff come nosing around here. Wait, he find the diamonds. And, and all that grass we're growing. Wands are illegal in Wisconsin? Well, you sound like you've been smoking this stuff yourself. Oh, my bloody...